With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question given that if a point R and the coordinate of R is 4, y, z lie on the line segment joining the point P and Q, then the distance of the R from the origin is. Okay, so first of all, we have to find out the equation of the line who joining the point P and Q. So let this is our point P and this is our point Q and this is the line who joining the point P and Q and the coordinate of P given is 2, comma minus 3, comma 4 and the coordinate of Q given is 8, comma 0, comma 10. Okay, so now the so now we can find out the direction ratio here. Okay, so the direction ratio of it is 6 i cap plus 3 j cap plus 6 k cap okay so the direction ratio so the direction ratio of is 6 comma 3 comma 6 okay so now equation of the line equation of the line we can say x minus x1 so x minus 2 upon 6 this is equal to the y minus y1 so y plus 3 upon 3 this is equal to the z minus z1 so z minus 4 upon 6 this is equal to the lambda okay so if any point lie on this line let this this is the point lie on this line then its form of x is equal to 6 lambda plus 2 okay and y is equal to 3 lambda minus 3 and z is equal to the 6 lambda plus 4 okay so similarly coordinate of r is also in this form and the coordinate of r given is here 4 comma y comma z okay so here we can say our 6 plus 6 lambda plus 2 is equal to the 4 then lambda is equal to the 1 by 3 similarly y is equal to the minus 2 and similarly z is equal to the 6 here okay so we can say coordinate of r is 4 comma minus 2 comma 6 okay and now we have to uh, tell the distance of r from the origin so let our origin coordinate is o is 0 comma 0 comma 0 okay so now if we apply here distance formula then what we get here students we know the distance formula is x2 minus x1 whole square so square root of x2 minus x1 between 4 square plus y2 minus y1 minus 2 square plus z2 minus z1 so we can say 6 square okay so we further simplify this then what we get here square root of 16 plus 4 plus 36 this is equal to the square root of 56 or we can write this as 2 times of square root of 14 and this is the required answer and in the option if we check so option c is our correct thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today